At Carcher Church of the Nazarene, we are committed to providing ministries of excellence that deepen, widen, and enhance our personal relationships with God. We welcome and value the young and the old, the first-time guest, as well as the long-term attendee. The activities and, and the outreach that, that our youth group does, you know, and they are designed by the youth pastor to, to show the kids that life isn't just about them and their little world that they live in, that there are so many other people that have needs and um, that need to come to church and need to, to be around people who know the Lord. And I think that that, that has been a big part of, of why we like the, you know, the youth group here and, and what our youth pastor and his staff does uh, with the kids, I think. Just helping them to see that you know, there's, there's a, a lot of people out there that have struggles and that have needs and that they can be a big part of other people's lives too. One thing we've got here, I mean, we have such a great location we're right here in the middle of a rapidly developing area of the city and county, and we touch several communities. We've got kids in our youth group from a number of different high schools because we're kind of right here on the corner of everything. Mm -hmm. And with all the development and all the activity going on, it really gives us an opportunity here to have a special ministry, I think. Mm -hmm. This facility gets a lot of attention just from the public, from people driving by, there's a lot of traffic that goes by here and they see the activities going on and the things that are happening. I think it's a, a good opportunity to draw in the community. So we are really blessed with the wonderful location and facility. Carcher Church is a place of belonging, a place to become part of a family, God's family, a place where we journey through life together. We celebrate and laugh together through all the good days and we support cry and encourage each other through the difficult times. Right after we moved here, Amber had gotten really sick on us, so the churches we went and visited, we would put prayer requests that she was sick and, and hoping that we could get her into some prayer system to, to, to help us deal with everything that we were going through at the time. And about a year of lurk, looking for different churches, um, we still didn't find a family. We hadn't found a, a church that really took us in. And during that time, we kept getting emails from uh, Sarah, the pastor, children's pastor. She kept emailing us, letting us know that the kids' program was, was up and active, and they'd love to have us come back. And he kept nudging me, saying, we, we should go back, try that church again. Yeah, I tried saying, there's, there's something different about the Nazarenes. We've got to make sure that they're okay before we go. So um, we talked to pastor and got, um, got the, the beliefs, the doctrines of the church and stuff, and kind of looked over it. And so we had a meeting to meet with him that, like on a Tuesday, I think it was. And we came in to talk to him. And when we sat down to talk to him, I had gotten a phone call on my, my cell phone. And so I took it in the other room and answered it. And it was the doctor telling us that now, in addition to the arthritis that Amber already had, we were also going to be dealing with Crohn's disease. So they, the doctor informed me on the phone that he wanted to start doing IV treatments at the Tumor Institute, and that just really hit really hard at the time. And so we, I went back out and I told Steve, and Pastor just said, you know what, let's just take a moment and let's just pray right now. And at that time when that happened, I thought, this, this is the family I've been looking for. I wanted somebody to take us in, and, and the Lord kind of planned that whole thing. I think that was his way of saying, you know, forget about the differences or forget the fact that you weren't raised Nazarene. This is this is a family. They're a family. They're the children of God and they're here for you and they're here for your little girl. It was a family we were looking for because that's what we left with a family back in Arizona and we wanted another church that felt like a family and that's what we found here. Our primary focus is to continue meeting the needs of people. People whose lives will be forever changed like ours because we opened our hearts, arms, and facilities to share the love of Jesus. So I guess we're going on about two and a half years now that Amber's, she's gotten a lot better. Um, she's active, able to move. Um, she's in the plays, you know, um, doesn't have a problem making the movements where before she couldn't really do them. Um, she's just like one of the other kids, you know, and she's running around playing and, and having fun. And, just enjoying life. 
And it was during those times, I think, where, where we were struggling with, with where we were as far as our relationship with the Lord. The church kept us so active and kept her learning about God, too, that, that it was. There'd be times I, I can remember driving in the car and I was crying and she'd say, it's okay, Mama, God's going to take care of me. So the church really helped. They were our backbone and then they helped continue to give her strength, too, when it was, when it was hard for us mm -hmm. at times. In order to continue providing effective ministries of excellence that are touching hearts and changing lives, it is crucial that we make room for more people to become a part of our family. Our education space for spiritual growth classes and Sunday school have exceeded maximum capacity. We are in desperate need of expansion. And I can see our youth department, I mean, everything's in place for growth. I think as soon as we have the facilities to do it, we've got a great staff. Uh, Very good. Great youth Very pastor, good. And mm -hmm. great youth workers, and the kids are uh, really involved, and, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's doing a great job. So I think just as soon as we get space, it's going to continue to grow, and we're looking forward to being involved with that. So. Mm -hmm. As we continue to make financial investments to expand our facilities, we are actually making investments in people, lives which will be forever changed. If you have already made a financial commitment, thank you for your investment in what is most important to the heart of God, people. If you have not had the opportunity to make a commitment, please prayerfully consider doing so today. Your investment in the lives of people for today and for generations to come is needed now more than ever.